Let's Play! Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sky Pillar of Mercy World. Before we go to the transit level, let's go and get some more stats and stuff. Because I need to. Let's just avoid all these guys as the usual. Head over to our Shockwave Entertainment Place. And get some! Let's see here. Well, let's take a look at our stats, number one. That might help to give us a... Okay, so we got eight, uh, 35 defense, 18 strength. I think we need more strength. So let's grab some more of the strength. Which we get from Smashing Turnips. Which is a reference to Smashing Pumpkins, if it wasn't obvious enough already. Hey, we got to level up too. That's perfect. And then I think we'll just exit with a Q-Pack just to round off all our stats a bit more. So, what attack do we get for leveling up? You have to exit to find out. We got forward triangle near the enemy. Oh, we got the throw! That's useful, I guess. I mean, I usually don't even throw in games where there's just a throw button. Because I, I find throws to not be the very most effective thing, and I press the escape menu button, which I didn't mean to do. And did that mean I don't keep my stuff? Oh, God, I froze the game! There we go. Yeah, so I didn't actually get the items. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm totally okay with doing this all again. Because I'm an idiot. Because I'm talking early in the morning when I should be getting ready for school. But school! Who goes to school anymore? I mean, pfft, I almost ran past it. So, I do have a little bit of a clarification. Um, when I said that I'm a huge Scott Pilgrim fan... I guess you could say I was kind of stretching the truth a bit, because I actually don't own the books. I borrowed all the books from my friends, because I am poor. Uh, we want to return a map, not exit game. So yeah, I, uh, I don't own any of the books, so if I'm missing out references in the books, it's because I only read them a couple times, and holy crap, what, what is going on with my PS3? It's glitching up! Which is awesome, but not really. So yeah, summertime blues. Follow that ninja chick. And we get to fight with Ramona's only ex-girlfriend. Okay, so there's a couple references there. Number one, this level is a reference to the second level in Final Fight. Final Fight is a Capcom fighting game. Or not really fighting game, brawler similar to this. And you might know it with having Guy and Cody from uh, Street Fighter. That's their series. Also, Mike Hagar, because Mike Hagar is the manliest mayor, and then uh, president of the United States that ever graced anything ever. So, yes, and then Roxy, if you saw there, she is a ninja, and she does the thing that, like, what Naruto does with the logs and the, and the stuff, and even though this is really just kind of a ninja thing in general, I do believe it's more of a Naruto reference, because that's what everyone knows it from. Because Naruto was uber popular at one point, and like everybody knew Naruto, except they called it Naruto, which was the stupidest thing ever. It's I hate that whenever like something gets popular, then people, like you know, even though it's popular, they they call it the wrong thing. It just bothers me. That just grinds my gears. If if I was a Peter of the Griffin, you know. Except, like I say, I'm not a big fan of Family Guy. In fact, I'm not a big fan of TV in general. There's not much TV anymore that I enjoy. So, this is a little bit of a weird transition, because it just kind of happens. And she slices the bus! So, I think we're, uh, we're good, because, you know... Now, this part always reminded me of in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, when you're on the top of the train fighting Georg! Or, uh, that's his name, right? No, or, or whatever. The the things. Wasn't it Georg? I think it was Georg. Hey, we got Dirty Trick. That was actually one of my last trophies I got um, when, in my main file. Because I just never got it. I'm pretty sure you get that from throwing uh, an item at a downed enemy. Or, or something at a downed enemy. And I never actually got that. And in fact, it took me a long time to even try to do that. Because I just never hit the downed enemies. Well, I never hit down enemies with an item. I always hit down enemies. And why am I hitting a baseball at you? That's a horrible idea. And I'm a little stuffed up. That's why I actually had to redo this part once. Because I just wasn't making the commentary of the good. Plus, if I didn't restart it, how would we see these beautiful glitches? And I mean, it's funny. In a game like this, glitches are excusable. Because you could use the whole, well, it's based off an old game sort of saying. And we got freaking ninjas. So, I really think these ninjas are meant to be a parody of Ryu Hayabusa, just because of how they look. 
I like like the modern Ryu Hayabusa, not the the old Ninja Gaiden one. I'm talking about the new ones. And uh, there seems to be no one else, so we'll take this sword and just stand here dramatically. Oh, standing there dramatically does ends up with it being sliced into. And we end up going to somewhere. Where is it going to be? We're at the Frying Tengu, a reference to Mish Oh god, I was looking at my computer. Mission 4 from Super Double Dragon. Because this time I brought a freaking list of stuff. I mean, because there's a oh goodness. Because there's only so many I can do. Okay, so that see that ninja's colors? I seriously think that that the ninjas that can shoot fireballs, these ninjas here, I think they're a reference to um, uh, Joe Mushashi from um, Shinobi. That's what I think that's a reference to. Because there's not many ninjas that wear white, you know. And here's a funny reference coming up. First off, let's fight all these ninjas. Or just stand here. That's fine. So look in the background there. Do you recognize any of those fish? Well, let's see. We got two calm fish. One blue fish that just keeps on swimming. Starfish, seahorse, puffer fish, and that yellow fish that nobody knows what it is, along with that fish that looks like one that was like the clean freak from Finding Nemo, ladies and gentlemen, Finding Nemo's in this game. And actually, these two people right here, they're actually Scott's mom and dad. So that's random, and thank you for just attacking me out of the blue. I mean, it's not like I was, you know, just standing there walking up to you, and you just decide, oh hey, she gave us a thumbs up. It's like, holy crap. And holy crap, that chair just went everywhere. That's one thing I like, you can do stuff with the chairs. I mean, that's, like, that's just fun. I mean, like, I don't know. There's something about, like, if you were doing that in, say, a, uh, I don't know, a modern game, it just wouldn't be as fun, it seems. Thank you for running into me. Something about it being a 2D game with, like, crazy physics just really makes me happy, you know? And we haven't seen that one type enemy that always made me laugh. Where is she? She should be coming up here. Oh, hey, there's a Game Boy on the wall over there. Because look at it, it's a Game Boy. And here we have the fat ninja. The funny thing is, she looks like a ninja from the game Saren Kagura, which is a Japanese-only game for the 3DS about boobs. Now, that game wasn't even a twinkle in the, uh, in the eyes of anybody at that time. Like, the idea probably wasn't even out, because it's a 3DS game. So I think that's hilarious, because she looks just like like the main character ninja chick. Except, you know, fat and stuff. Also, I can't tell if that's a dumpling or a slime on her head. It could be one of the others. So the um, ovens here actually burn you if you jump on them. However, they burn the enemies if they jump on them. So that's fun. And look, there's a turkey dinner. Let's throw the turkey dinner at our enemies. Because, I mean, this game's so absurd that you can do that, and I love it. See, I'm just attacking them with turkey dinner. Actually, you can't see, because it's it's mostly off-screen and kind of implied. So these guys with masks, or I don't know if they're glasses or masks. They're, they're kind of jerkish. And I don't know if, if I can attack them, even, without... Or I could just have them jump into the fire, that's fine. And, oh my goodness, he just ran into this and hurt himself. And then he hurt me. Can you stop that? Oh, hey, we got a new we got a new thing. We got run with object and press uh, the, this button. Let's try that. Triangle, that's the name of the button. Also, reference. Look up there, the karaoke. Da-dee-da-do. It's the secret thing from, uh, Dev. I cannot think today. Zelda, the chest opening thing. Because it's, uh, it's a thing. I don't know, I can't talk. Haha! <laughs> then again, it is early in the morning. I'm just about getting ready to go to school. It's Monday. Okay, these guys, you just want to guard. They will kill each other eventually. See, they all eventually just end up jumping on there and dying. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Although they all do look like uh, the Human Torch from Fantastic Four. Is there one left? What, why can't I go on? Is there one left? Huh? Oh yes, there is. Okay, bye person. I don't think that's a reference. I think that's just the same style, really. Because, you know, not everything's a reference. I mean, the sword isn't a reference to anything, probably. Although, right here, you have to break these, or I, I don't know what happens if you don't. I always did, because it is pretty easy. They all break basically in one hit. It's 
Especially if, you're, if you have a sword, then it's, you know, it's just like Skyward Sword! Except, uh, I don't know. Skyward Sword, oh goodness! There we go. Oh, you just get money. That's good. Six bucks! It's a pretty good deal, I say. Okay, here we go. Ha! -ha! I guarded! Oh, I didn't guard those ninjas. The red ninjas, the rinjas, and those guys are being sparkly, which I love. Sparkles are cool, except in holy crap, what were you doing? Sparkles are cool unless they're in Twilight. Then it's stupid. But then again, Twilight jokes are so overrated, like, they're so overdone. That it's like, well, you know, it, it's gone and past. Nowadays, it's the Fifty Shades of Grey jokes. However, I'm just, I bet you, when this video is old and I'm like 30, people are going to be not knowing what Fifty Shades of Grey is, are, is? Would you say is or are? Would you refer to it as a plural or singular? Because it is a series of, of items, but it also is also a single item. That is a, uh, an interesting thing to wonder. Oh, and, uh, so, these, any enemy that is fat, I guess that's the best way to put it, you have to use, um, powerful attacks on it, not powerful attacks, heavy attacks, god, I cannot speak today, um, and that's the only way to do damage to them. So, up here is the in-level shop, where we get to the frying tengu, let's grab some kushiyaki moriwase, a bento box filled with goodness, and we get... Heart points, guts, experience, defense, and strength. Let's grab another one of those. That's pretty good. Defense and strength uh, makes me very happy. Um, and let's grab some... Let's see here. Let's go with some tempura vegetables. I'm not a big fan of shrimp, so... We can't take it to go? Okay, let's grab something to go then. Let's grab some uh, udon... I guess we can't take the udon either. Udon soup that... Or noodles or whatever. I don't know. Actually, yesterday, it was weird, I was biking to Shoppers Drug Mart to pick up my PlayStation card to grab Knights and Sonic Adventure 2 on PSN, and I just randomly smelt miso soup in the air biking, and it was the greatest smell ever. Oh no, we're gonna get- nope, just kidding. This is the in-level secret, because it's, uh, it's the secret that's in the level. And you know what, I, I really want to finish this, because, let's see here, it is 8.05 and I need to get to school, so I'm just gonna skip this. For now because I don't see much of the point really plus we're almost near the end we come out in Chengdu Gardens Chengdu is actually the studio is um, that worked on this game it wasn't Ubisoft Montreal it was Ubisoft Chengdu which I don't even know what that is supposed to be or anything but it's interesting to know I guess that's a reference actually I guess it is cool um, there's a rose bush here. Well, why is there white roses? Can I do anything with it? No, that's weird. I never even noticed that before. Let's Plays, where even the Let's Player learns something new. Hey, somebody's messaging me on Facebook. I'll get to them after. And there's Knives Chow Mom. How kind of fitting, considering it's we're in the china -y area. Although every town has its own sort of Asian sector, really. Which I think is kind of cool, you know, it's it's kind of like coolness, and I guess those are slimes. I mean, look at that, that, that's a slime, that's not a dumpling. So that's a reference, I guess. And I got an email too, I can't really check that right now. If, yeah, if, if you heard that, I don't know if you can pick it up. But whenever I get an email, my phone goes, hey, listen, like Navi. Uh, I have to explain in class when that happens, I've, I've had an occasion where it goes off in class and I had to, uh, just say, oh, that's just, uh, my phone. And sorry about that, that's, uh, my sister put that ringtone on, what are you talking about? Ha <laughs> ha! That's one thing! I, okay, so I moved to a new school, and I know it's like my last year of high school and stuff, and I should, like, it'd be better to be at my old school, but it's like, none of these people there are gamers! All they care about is hockey, and I really don't even watch hockey. Okay, so this is actually a mandatory subspace door. Where we go, and this is from, uh, this is the subspace that they go into in the books. When Roxy and Ramona do their stuff and everything, this is where they go to. This is a direct relation thingy to that. However, as I said, I don't need the money, I'll get more money later. Do some grinding off screen. I don't really think grinding off screen. I'm actually pretty good stat for this point, but then again, I am doing it, uh, on average Joe mode. Ramona's Backyard! And, here she is! 
Roxy Richter. Yes, that sword there is a reference. You might, well, even though it's a reference in the movies and like to the movies. Uh, actually, something interesting to note. This is actually a fusion design, if you will, of the like. It's a combination of Roxy's design from the books with the sword from the movies. Now, the sword from the movies is, it's kind of obvious what it's a homage to. If any of you have ever played Soul Calibur or go on the internet, you'll know who Ivy Valentine is. The chick with the big boobs and the crazy bondage wear with the whip sword. And I'm getting completely destroyed here. That's fine, though. In fact, I think this is my first playthrough alone. Like, I always play, play through this game with my sister, so whenever I play, because I can never not play this alone. Can you not do that, please? Something interesting to note is that the Evil X's have so much moves that they could be playable. Oh, here's a reference! That's a reference to Sonic! She turns into animals! It actually is a reference to Sonic, which is pretty cool. Because Sonic is something that you just need more and more references to. Ugh. I have an itch on my back and you probably didn't even need to know that. 70 KOs, 2000 experience, $101.07. And everyone looks up to the sky and... It's the most awkward looking kiss ever. Seriously, what is that? It looks like he's sucking her nose. Why is his mouth higher than hers? Shouldn't it be the same? That's weird. Why would they... Why would you even do that? A uh, nice thing though is it's, you know, it connects here, so, yeah. Next time we go to the Halloween party. Fitting, considering it's October. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play. I was going to say don't take a person, baby, just saying your story, but that's, that's long and done. Let's play Scott Pilgrim vs. The World the Game. Take care, guys. Oh, right, the email. I guess I should do my shout-out like I always do. Alex M.A. Arkson and Roxas Matheson both post comments. So we'll see you all next time. Ciao.